it's been a funny old day so far. It was certainly a rude awakening. Well, not awakening. It was certainly a rude discovery first thing this morning. It's uh, not anything I expected to ever be telling you lot, to be honest. Anyway, so we went and picked the landy bits up and then we went to the railway and terrible vloggers that we are, we um, didn't do much filming there because the camera we had with us ran out of battery. So that wasn't very good, but it does give it an excuse to go back. So we've got the timetable and we will go back later in the year. Um, probably when there's a steam train running because that'll be better and it's quite a long line so we should get a decent train ride out of it. Anyway, we went into Bakewell, had a coffee, and a mooch around, even bought a Christmas present. So, and then, hold on a minute, we decided that we'd do something a little bit later on. So we've booked online, we've got tickets printed out now. So we're going to go into Matlock Bath, we're going to have something to eat. And then do something a little bit different. Something that we're going to see that's been happening since the days of Queen Victoria. In fact, it started because of Queen Victoria. So Keith's just gone out with the dogs for a walk. And then uh, I'm going to make myself a brew. And then we'll head into Matlock Bath. And see where we get up to. And what we get up to. And where we end up and what we do, and what we see, and all that. You'll come along, won't you? Yeah? Okay then. We'll see you in a few minutes then. Sorry now, not this time. You're staying this time. Good boy. You look after the caravan with the others. No, go on, back. Go on, not this time. Go on, in. See you later. Be good. Yes, be good. See you in a bit. Bye. Now, bye. Go on. In you go. Bye bye. Go on. In you go. Now. We're here. We are. We're here. It's a bit like Blackpool in inland, isn't it? Isn't it? it is. We're at Matlock Bath. This is the River Derwent. And it is very, very busy. It is not one of our usual, usual haunts. type of haunts, is it? But we're here for a special reason, really, aren't we? We are a historic reason. We are, but first, a coffee, I think, we need or, something. Or something to eat. Yes. So that'll be Victoria's Jubilee, Jubilee yeah. won't it? somewhere for a cup of coffee and we'd have some fish and chips it might be a long evening might not depends how crowded it is don't do well in big crowds anyway so we'll see so we got mini fish and chips and mushy peas yeah <laughs> but it's a whale <laughs> that is quite a big bit of, of fish in there I've just said I am a bit of a snob it is a bit tacky here, isn't it? Very. <laughs> hot. Oh, 
that's not what we've come to see though, is it? No. Where they got the fish from? Yeah, there's the mini fish. Where's the chips? And well, we're not going in there. Right. Not today. It's true. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're just not. It's not. Not what our aim is. for today, is it? No. I'm tick free. You've checked. I might have done. So we've queued. <clears throat> Very British. We've got three badges. Well, they cost us a fiver each. Because <laughs> that's how much the tickets were. <laughs> so the rest of it's free, is it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And Keith said to me before, he said, we don't often do stuff in the evenings, do we? Well, you're usually... Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and welcome... You're to usually snoring. This we'll, See, a little bit later on, if it's not the sat nav in, um, um, interrupting us, it's something else. In the meantime, if you'd like to enjoy the grounds, there's... One pair for on that side, I can say seats on that side. There's all sorts of goodies to buy, sweets. Hope you're now going to enjoy the show on the river. <laughs> when a 13-year-old Princess Victoria visited my flock back on her way to Chatsworth House. On her return to Buckingham Palace, the courtiers asked the young princess what she'd enjoyed most about her visit to Derbyshire, and in particular to Matlock Bath. She's reported to have said that Matlock Bath was a very beautiful place, but what she remembered most was seeing the lights of Matlock Bath twinkling in a misty river dome. This, she said, made Matlock Bath a very mystical and magical place. The people of Matlock Bath decided to have a celebration, and remembering what the young princess was reported to have said, they decided they would have to use the river and light for the centre priest of their particular celebration. So they came up with the idea of constructing models, passing them onto the conventional rowboat, lighting them with night lights in small glass jars, and rowing them up and down the river. In the 1950s, it was agreed that the models could be lit by electricity and have torchlight bulbs and motorized movement. Moving forward yet again, we're now seeing the use of LED lighting on all the models. And now comes to your part of the show, because of your boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, you're going to light up this year's parade of illuminated <laughs> and decorated boats in all their glory. So we're going to have a countdown, 10 down to zero. I want to hear plenty of noise. They want to hear you in Derby. So let's really get our tonsils loosened up and let's start with our countdown. 10, 9, 8, 7, 
I'm glad we came, <laughs> but I think it's a one-off, isn't it? It might be. Been there, done that. Tell the dogs what they've missed. <laughs> They'll be eating each other. <laughs> Been there, done that, never again. Not our type of thing. Very well, clever. I was. Th I thought there would be more floats than there were. Uh, people have spent a lot of time and effort making them. All you know, fair use to them. And it's a tradition that's gone on for 124 years or something like that. Yeah. But, uh, uh, but yeah, it's it's not anything like Blackburn. I think it's uh, Blackpool thawed out and yeah. melted and global warmed. Well, and I can see where the tradition came from yeah. and how they've done it. And it's good that they keep it going year on year, but to become a major attraction, they've got to do yeah. a bit more, I think. They have. I mean, the, the individual floats were, were great. Yeah, very it's clever. Just, trying to encourage more people to do it. I mean, there's prize money in, in, in doing it, so... Is it £1,000 for the first prize? Yeah. It's, it's not to be sneezed at. Well, yeah. the lowest prize last night was for the last boat, and that was £600. Well, yeah, and all the... the it came down, didn't it? Top four, 1,900, 800, 700, and the rest got 600 each as well, so the minimum winnings last night for this year, it's £600. 
Anyway, we hope you enjoyed the like show. <laughs> So we've come into Worksworth for Again. a coffee. Again, it seems to be our in place to come at the moment because we've been told it's a nice place to come for a coffee. So, Lee. Told, isn't it? Lee yeah. Windridge Photography. Yep. Um, my work colleagues was here yesterday, said it was a good place to go. We actually missed them. We, we, weren't, we were here earlier than they were. Yeah. We were at the railway. That so, a nice place to come, so. We'll give it a go. And no, before anyone asks, Keith isn't asleep because we get that comment quite often. He's just checking his phone. But look at this. We're at a big table. Now, we haven't been asked to move to a smaller table. If you've seen our recent video when we were in Dent, and you know how we were asked to move to a smaller table. Well, I think that was a one-off. So we're just having a coffee at Worksworth Heritage Centre. And we'll have a quick wander around the town and then it'll be time for home. And he's still not asleep, he's just changed position. <laughs> Keith, did you know, did I know what? that Daniel Defoe once visited this area, yeah. Worksworth? You didn't know that? No. Well, I did, because I've just read it. <laughs> and guess what shocked him what? when he visited? He still found people living in caves in the yeah. area. Yeah. And when was that he visited? <coughs> uh, years ago. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to find the part that you broke for the, on the Land Rover. Me? You. I just don't know my own strength. <laughs> Keith, what? did you know that Dame Ellen MacArthur, the round the world yachtswoman, went to school in Worksworth? No. You do now. I do now. I knew that because I read it. So what other gems are pearls of wisdom have you got? The woman who was called George Eliot mm. was from around here. I don't know. My memory's shot. Worksworth is a mining community, is it? Yeah. Mine. Mining and railway and yeah. Um, yeah. We'll have to do a bit more history. Well, a, a bit of a wander around and there are a few plaques around so but, uh, we're just enjoying the sunshine. We are. Trying to find something to repair the, your damage to the Land Rover. Well, go on then, just tell me what I did. You brought the door handle. It's just happened. We'll show you after. So there's a fair few things to see and do around Worksworth as we're just looking at. Middleton Top Engine House, the Star Disc which we've been to before. Well, yeah. have we not been to Middleton Top Engine House when we did um, the Crouch Walk? We did, actually. So yeah. It was, it was up around there, wasn't it? Yeah. We've got Ecclesbourne Valley Railway, which you saw briefly earlier in the video, um, which we're going to go back to at some point. Another light railway, Steeple Grange Light Railway, which is an 18-inch gauge line near Worksworth. Puzzle Gardens, Stony Wood which is just near the uh, Star Disc. Harlem Mill, which was became the first cotton mill in the world to use a steam engine. A fair few things to see and do. Mm. Just around this corner there's a plaque. I'll quickly show you while Keith's got in the Heritage Centre. <laughs> Not a book that we've read, or I haven't read. I presume Keith hasn't either gone into the Heritage Centre which is just here just with a cafe behind it where we've just been morning morning oh no afternoon <laughs> well into the afternoon 
I don't know where today's gone. Oh, we've been to the cafe. Yeah, I've enjoyed the cafe already. Thank you. So I've ended up buying a book. Which probably means there'll be more videos on the way from this area. That's it for this one. Uh, I think works where we need to have another wander around at some point, don't yes. you? There's a lot more oh. to see. Seems so. to be more every time we come we find see, something, we else find something else. Out. So there was something about a woolly rhinoceros. No. Uh, yes, woolly rhino. Yeah. It was discovered here. One in the, one of the mining while they were mining. So again, we'll have to work out what that is. Yeah. So, but that's it for now so thank you as always for watching and subscribing and giving us thumbs up and even thank you for giving us thumbs down we don't mind it's all a nice interaction from you all and until the next video thank you very much bye bye well it was goodbye and thank you for watching but it's taken a lot of arm twisting, but Keith's persuaded me that we need to come back to the railway for a baked butty. It didn't take much arm twisting. It took a heck of a lot of arm twisting. It did not. That's if it's open today. I don't know where it is. We'll look back out. Oh yes, we, we did say we'd also show you the um, break. He's pulled my door handle off. At least it's a handle and not a knob. That's the remains of it. So how are you getting out now? <laughs> I have vase. Yeah, I thought he'd beaten me. Okay. I'm talking about you, not to you. Fine. So you thought you'd beaten me and got me stuck in here. So we're back here again, where we started yesterday. What's beaming up? Yeah. That's what you meant, your glasses. <laughs> but we are going to come back here again on a steam day and have a ride on a steam train. Which I've never quite understood why it's a ride on the steam train, because the steam train you're not riding on, are you? Are you? No, you're not. You're getting pulled by the steam train. What was that look? Yes, please. Just have a quick look at this one. Oh yeah, you're right. Can I just uh, poke me camera in, please? Yeah, certainly. Thank you. So how old's this one? Uh, it's not that old. I think it's 1947 or something like that. Right. 1951, somewhere around about there. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh.
Yeah, yeah, I'm just looking. Oh, yeah, 1947. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> What is it with the fascination of steam? I don't think there's anybody I know who doesn't love seeing a steam train, a steam engine. Of any age, both steam engine and people who are interested in them really. Bacon bushes. You didn't have any possibles left. And here it comes back again. really is it now it is home time now home time now so again thank you for watching and sticking with us and seeing what we get up to where we get to and having a laugh with us hopefully we'll see you again take care bye